right. <laughs> uh, all right, let's jump into this game here. That awesome map we talked about earlier, Abyssal Flippin' Reef, like that underwater a aesthetics that we just love so much. And Bunny. Bunny did mech on this map last time. What do you think we'll see out of innovation? I'm going to be honest with you. We're probably going to see mech. It just works so well on this map. Because it's innovation, after all. I mean, I mean, don't you think we're going to see mech from the machine? I would certainly hope so. Speaking of the machine, let's introduce our players. The Machine Terran. The Blue Terran. He is innovation. And his opponent. He is the Zerg player destroying Bunny in the previous Best of 7 series. It is going to be Sue. <coughs> now I just want to extend a big thank you to Sue because Sue actually hooked us up with this match versus innovation. So I well done, Sue. Yeah, I mean, I think we're just, we're in so much luck here that Innovation A was willing, you know, he was, he may not have even been on Battle.net at the time, considering these guys are former teammates, how easy is it for Sue to pick up the phone and dial Innovation's number, something that most people can't even dream about, you know, I would love to have Innovation's number and just call him up whenever I want. I'm just imagining, like, right now, like, Innovation is just, like, asleep. He hears his like phone ring. It's like his custom ringtone that he has only for Sue. He only for out Sue. Of bed, yeah. Grabs it. Sue, what is it? Yeah. No. He's like. He's like. He grabs the. Their show match. <laughs> he's like. Let me guess. Another best of seven show match. And Sue's like, like, "Hey man." It's it's like, "Hey man." It's 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 money. It's money, and we ain't got that Eskital con. We gotta get every opportunity possible, right? And Innovation's like, yeah, fine. I'm coming on. Uh, guys, let me tell you guys, that's exactly how the conversation went. Like, we're not making it up. That's exactly what they did in that exact tone. That's what they said. In English. In English, too. Yeah. No, these guys are very good at English. They were just like, LOL, JK, coming on, lit as fuck. Let's do this. Hashtag wrecked. Now, <laughs> this was the map. And potentially the playstyle as well that Sue actually lost against last series. Uh, how well do you think he'll do the innovation this time, Seeker? Well, here's the situation. No disrespect to Bunny, he is no innovation. So, if innovation decides to make it happen on Abyssal Reef, I think he's going to have a much cleaner execution than Bunny versus Sue that we saw. But the thing is, Sue has already experienced Mech on this map, so he may be more prepared for it than he was against Bunny. And considering the fact that it's Sue, obviously he was studying his plays and trying to figure out what it is that he was trying to do or figure out what he did wrong. So he's probably going to fix it up. He's already going up for three bases here with a Roachborn on the way, which is exactly what you want to be able to deal with these Hellions, but as I say that, I'm seeing stim, which obviously he's seeing bio and in innovation is doing the pretty much the same build that Bunny did. He opened up with reactor Hellions and then goes into Banshee. So we're gonna see if he can deal a little more damage than Bunny. To remember, Bunny had two cooked Banshees, but lost one almost immediately to two queens. And that just shut down any hope of that Banshee harass. Like you were saying then. Even if he isn't able to get into the mineral lines, even if there's spores there, Banshees can still just kind of fly around and clear up and creep, just be annoying in general. Yeah, and this, earlier when I mentioned that I would love to see, remember what I, when I said I would love to see a oh, Raven pop out? Well, no, never mind, he lifts off his Starborn and that's a reactor, so it looks like, uh, looks like Bonnie and Innovation are kind of, hey listen, after the double Banshees out, you just lift off and get the reactor Vikings. And actually, a Banshee coming here doing some decent damage. Five drones going down, and that Banshee is going to get out alive as well. Oh. And they're going to move down to the third base, too. That four is not up. Seven drones killed by this Banshee. Eight now. Very well done by Innovation. Oh, my God. Oh, man, he's going to get gonna... even more. No, not <coughs> oh. quite, because there were a couple of stray drones rallying there. 
Oh, oh and man. another Banshee has joined the fray! Innovation is just doing so well with the Banshee Rats. He is gonna lose one. He might lose a second one right here. But he's getting this is... 14 drones for his trouble. This is what I was talking about. Execution is different based on... Two Banshees. We also have Roaches counterattacking in here. Stu going for the Roach counterattack. He has been the king of counterattacks in the first couple of games of his, of his first series. But it looks like Innovation says no sir. Shut this down as well. It was a great move from Sue to go for the Roach counter. By SCPs, and that was just a, a just 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 a bad bad move there by Sue. For he was a, he was a bit too busy paying attention to his units at home that he kind of forgot about his Roaches and allowed him to get SCPs around. And now he did able to kill off some SCPs. He managed to. Deal some damage, but if you look at the supply difference, innovation is ahead. He has been constantly producing SCVs behind this entire this entire time behind this attack, and is constantly producing Marines and getting his production in a very efficient fashion. And now innovation has complete control of the map, and Sue is in a lot of trouble. Sue, of course, still continuing up the harassment here. Going to send a couple of Zerglings here. Going to try and stop this little supply to wall off the force system here. Going to kick a couple of SCVs out at the uh, supply depots. Just delay that wall there. So, he's just trying to buy as much time because now it's where the attack comes in from innovation. And he's t already taken out four drones. But more roaches are moving in. It looks like the attack is going to get intercepted and cleaned up. But there is still a little bio force loading up into these medevacs, possibly going in, possibly flying home. But I don't think this is the end of Innovation's aggression because, as you can see, he's already got a drop with eight Marines on the way. And behind this, he's just continuing to to macro up. And this is what Innovation is very well. Known. He's known at being a great multitasking player he knows how to hit his opponent where it hurts so it is up to sue to play as defensively as possible there's a drop here in the main and this is going to tip forward and kill a bunch of drones and he has already taken out two drones takes the queen two and with no anti-air left of so that medivac can just leisurely stroll out of sue's main base oh felipe i may have gotten a drop only killed two drones and then and I finished off my sentence by saying he killed up a bunch of. So a bit of a mistake oh, there on my part. I you know, but but can you blame me? It's in a too. Like how how can I not be excited about it? Yeah. I mean, to I mean, if you think about it, and like some people would be glad to have two drones. Some people don't have any drones. So to some people, two <laughs> drones is a lot. They're gonna be satisfied with what they can get, right? I mean, there are starving yeah. children in Africa that would have loved it's... those two. Oh my god, Felipe, you went there. You went there. I wonder what it uh... tastes like, anyway. <laughs> not very good. They're mutants. It's an alien race. Or, no, not a, a Protoss is alien race. This, this is the mutant race. And I don't think mutants taste very good. Even if you cook them up, like, at 300 degrees in the oven. Now we are seeing a little bit of another drop in here. 16, or not 16, 8 Marines, and another 8 Marine drop coming in here. multi prog aggression by Innovation. This is what is happening right here. Forcing that pull up here. Forcing, uh, Zeus. They're going to attack and pull away as well. While the main army of Innovation moves on in. Marine stim scans go down. But those tanks are a little too far forward. A couple of them may just go down, but there is a third and fourth tank up there as well, and he is going to continue pushing past Sue's force to keep him uh, to try and come in with those roaches, and going to try and take out the couple, but there is too much Terran here, and that base is going to get taken out. Innovation continuing the march in here. There are mutalists out now, but I'm not sure if they will be enough to take out Innovation's army. A few more Marines going for Sue's third as well. Sue rebuilding his force base at a further back location, and Innovation just continues to rally forward, being a little bit slow, being cautious on this attack, not sending everything in. But it looks like as he steps forward, Sue is coming in from behind with a whole lot of lanes, failing, roaches, ravages, you 
Regulus and everything is coming in here. Those tanks are going down, but the rest of Sue's army is ravaged, and Innovation takes game one. Yeah, it was just way too much favor for Sue to somehow bring that back. Those four two banshees was more than enough to give innovation his window to build the three cc to build his production buildings and to hit that timing attack that he loves so much and sue just wasn't ready for it he didn't have the economy and didn't have the army to tackle on against sue's or i'm sorry not sue's innovations army i'm so excited about this match that i can't even talk here felipe